Just look at that sea of orange. No surprises if I tell you we're here in Holland at Zandvoort for the Max Verstappen celebration party. It's a quick track and perfect for high speeds, high stakes qualifying. Welcome along to the Dutch Grand Prix qualifying day. Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome to my F124 career mode. At the moment the circuit is like an ice rink because it is just drying out. But I'm going to try and get through Q1. We're at the Dutch Grand Prix, it's season 2. And wow, it's the pressure is on here to deliver a lap in this Q1 session. If you haven't seen the last installment from career mode, do go back and check that one out. Before you see this one, this is your last chance to do so without spoilers. So it was a win in the Belgian Grand Prix and we're hoping to carry on that momentum. But these changeable conditions are making that very difficult at this moment in time. Trying to navigate where the grip is as well as set a competitive lap time. And at the moment, it feels alright apart from that gigantic slide out of the final corner, that didn't feel particularly good. But now we're completing sector two. We're three seconds up, so I'm hoping that's gonna be enough. But the problem is that's on a time that was set on intermediate. The times are still tumbling though, and they're gonna carry on tumbling as we head round the bank corner, this time not losing it. What's the time gonna be worth? It's stone dead last. Highly dramatic here, and not good for our championship fight at all, especially when you consider we are qualifying on a circuit not known for overtaking, and we're going to be starting in last, so that has really left it, left us with it all to do in the race. Am I confident that we can turn things around? We'll see. Welcome along then to the North Sea coast and to the Zandvoort circuit. We're 25 miles away from Amsterdam for today's Dutch Grand Prix. It's a race the great Jim Clark won on four occasions, leading for an astonishing total of 370 laps. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he'll start from pole position. And it's Charles Leclerc in P2. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Fernando Alonso, Norris, Oscar Piastri, Perez, Stroll, Russell, Hamilton, Gasly, Ocon, Ricardo, Magnussen, Theo Porcher, Albon, Sonoda, Sainz, Holkenberg, Sunshine, and Joe Kuan Yu. With preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. And alongside me for the first time this season here in the commentary box, Naomi Schiff. On the plus side, we have 36 laps to see what we can do here. So let's get this race underway in the damp conditions at Zambor. It's an okay start. But the only guy that was behind us, Joe Guan Yu in the Alpine, has momentarily got ahead. But we're going to try and go around the outside of Turn 1, see if we can find grip. All we're finding is a wall of cars completely in the way. And I'm trying to navigate around the Salber of Carlos Sainz. And we've got the Haas of Nico Hülkenberg trying to go around the outside, taking the outside line here. And that has worked for him. And we're really struggling to find the grip in these changeable conditions it's not particularly wet it's just very damp very slidey and we're trying to go around the outside of nico holkenberg there there's no way to do it we're trying it again only we've had a bit of a slide made a mistake and fallen back down to last so we've really not had the best first lap of this race but now i'm setting up joe guan yu we're going to go down the inside of joe guan yu and we're going to overtake Zhou Guan Yu. Up into P19 then to one place gains. And we are going to be running on a dry track quite quickly. The rain, which was just spitting, is easing already. So I imagine it won't be too much longer before we see the dry tyres. But I'm charging towards P18 Nico Holkenberg. 
We're going to have a look down the inside of Hulkenberg. He's fighting me a bit there, but we've managed to overtake him. And now we can start getting after the big group of cars ahead. This is going to be a long old Grand Prix, this one. And we're only on the second lap. Long way to go yet. And I think Albon's had a bit of a wide moment there. We're now going around the outside of Carlos Sainz to try and take P17. That's a bit of a bold move, especially when you consider it's only for 17. But we have got that done. Verstappen set the fastest lap of a 119. We're not even in the 20s. That is how much we're struggling around here. We could only do a 21.8. And now we're going around the outside of Albon, but we've got a bit blocked there by Yuki Tsunoda going deep. Albon's still fighting us, but we've got past him. And now we're going to try and recapture Sonoda, who had a okay, bit of a moment round right there. As we now head into the right hand, of Sonoda not quite got the speed that we have round the corner. And it's a matter of just seeing if we can send it down the inside of the right hand. Off. Overtake complete up into P15. Next up is Teo Porcher. But now we have a round of pit stops to go to dry tyres. Now I've gone for the soft, but the rest of the pack have gone for the hard. And one thing that's clear is that they intend to go to the end from here. So, have we called this dramatically wrong? I don't know, but I just think the soft are going to get up to temperature quicker and just be the grippiest tyre at this stage of the race. But I think we might have made a mistake if we have to make one more pit stop, so... We've really got it all to do in this Grand Prix now. But I'm having a look down the inside of Ocon. We've got that move done. That's a very brave one. I think we did bang wheels a bit there. But now I'm right behind Daniel Ricciardo. He is next on my list. And he's got Pierre Gasly directly in front of him. So, in the battle for 14th. And I don't know how many other cars need to pit. We've been given the objective. A cheap 12th position. So we're now going to sling it down the inside of Ricardo. Hope there's a few more cars in the pits. Oh, there are a few more cars pits. in the pits. Yes, mate, and that has helped us achieve target. the position. Nice and we have moved up into P10. As Ricardo tries fighting back into one. But we're not giving him any of that. Not giving him the time of day. And we are up into P10. Next up now is Pierre Gasly. We're really starting to make our way through the field now. As we dive down the inside of the Alpine and take P9, that is a great move there, nice move. and Good now job. we're on George Russell, and up next will be Sergio Perez and Lewis Hamilton, they are all in the line, and I want to start taking them as quickly as I can, I do not want to wait, wait around to be taking these guys, we're going to go up the inside of George Russell, setting the fastest lap here, and this is going to be an accidental overtake on Perez, because we break so late, I had to commit to overtake Perez. Thankfully, he saw what I was going to do and just jumped about 100 foot out of the way. I, I think Perez will be hope wishing he'd worn the brown pants there. I honestly think he will, but now we're having a go at Lewis Hamilton. This is for P6. This is going to be down the inside, and Hamilton sticking it out around the outside. Good racing by Lewis there, but we're down the inside again, and this time, Hamilton has to concede. And we're up into P6. Now I need to make this stint count. I need to push as hard as I can. I cannot waste time fighting other cars. So at this stage, we have to catch Norris. We have to catch Leclerc. We've got two cars that we need to catch. And setting lap times like that is a great way to go about it. Especially with the track ever drying. But the problem is now as our soft start to wear they're not going to have the advantage that once they had and the other problem we've got is that Norris and Leclerc are so busy fighting each other they're not even we're going to get quite held up here as I try and go around the wide line but that doesn't work at all and an up and under doesn't even work there either so we need to refigure this out how are we going to get past Leclerc here especially if we want to make this strategy work really we need to try and get ahead of them and make sure we gap Hamilton by about 20 seconds a week as we tied down the inside of Leclerc there. That was a daring move. And our teammate sees what's coming and doesn't bother me. And now we're starting to get on the rear of Lando Norris. We need to get this done fast. 
down the inside. We send it, but we're not making the corner. And Norris just gets us back. So thank you very much. You messed that up. And I'm just going to capitalise. Now Perez and Hamilton are battling. And we are still pulling away from them. But the problem is, we're losing too much time fighting Norris. We cannot afford to do this. We need to just get clear of Norris if we're going to make this work. We had a wheel on the grass there as we went down the outside. Okay, but we work. have Great got pass. ahead. And we've got Alonso two and a half seconds of us now. So we need to get our foot down and get after him if we can. The problem is though, Norris stepped to us like glue. And in the end, we lost a bit more time fighting him. But we're now in at the end of lap okay, 18. We go. And we've gone on to a set Perfect of medium tyres. Those are the like tyres nice we'll take to the end of the race. One. And coming out of the pit lane, we are in P13, so it's not really worked out for us. I'm hoping Sainz doesn't get past as well. Well, okay, Sainz did get past, but that's fine. We can work with this, but we've got a lot of positions to make up. The good news is we have brand new medium tyres, so the tyre advantage for about 10 to 12 laps should work, so we should be able to gain the time we need. I don't know if we'll be able to catch Norris and Leclerc and go, but I'm hoping we can get past Hamilton, Perez, that lot. First things first, dive down the inside of Sainz. He gets completely out of the way. Next up is Esteban Ocon, who is about another second down the road. And the one thing I'm finding is that we're not necessarily setting absolute pace here at this early stint on these tyres. So we need to kind of get our foot down a bit more but the pace just isn't really there so that absolute advantage i thought we'd have while we do have an advantage it's not by as much as i hoped it would be as we now start gaining on lance stroll in p11 so we are catching the battle for six but that's because i think they're racing each other quite intensely and uh, Norris and Leclerc, while we're stuck behind other cars, are getting further ahead. So really, I want to get these moves done as soon as possible. Not lose too much time. First up with Stroll. We didn't even really have to do anything to get past him now. Although we hit our wheel on the grass. Go deep and Stroll nearly takes us back. But we hold on to the position. And we're now in P11. Catching Ricardo, Gasly, Russell, Perez and Hamilton. But this long train of cars, we are going to get held up in this train. There's no doubt about that. We need to clear as many as possible, as quickly as possible. Ricardo tries to defend, but there isn't really much he can do to defend. And we're actually going to try and take Gasly as well. That was quite daring, but we managed to get that move done. Now we're on the back of George Russell at the end of that particular lap. And now we're going to be sailing past the Mercedes driver and he's not really going to have much he can do about that. We do have, like I said, a bit of a grip advantage but it doesn't seem to be worth as much as I thought it would be. I thought it might be enough to get us to the back of Norris and Leclerc by the end of the race but we're not really gaining at that kind of rate on them as we now get ready to overtake Perez and Hamilton and we have spent a bit too much time fighting these guys. If it was another circuit, we might have been able to get through quicker, but this track overtaking is very difficult as we now set up the move on Perez. We might be able to get them both here. We go through the middle of the pair of them, and somehow that doesn't end in a crash. We get past them, and now we can start trying to get after Norris and Leclerc, but they're 14 and a half seconds up the road. So that's going to be a hard chase try and catch them but I am going to push hard and do my best to catch them we have got 11 laps to do it it's okay, a tall order and I think the tyres don't have quite the level of grip they had when we first got them we are edging towards them bit by bit but it's not going to be enough I think P6 is going to be the best we can do with a fastest lap but after qualifying I'll be honest I would happily take that We've got a car blowing up here. I can't see who it is. I believe it's Carlos Sainz in the Sauber pulling off to the side. And as we are now on the last lap, we haven't really made any further gains into Norris and Leclerc. So we are going to have to settle for P6. 
as we go around this last lap. We've gone deep. We've hit the grass and we've spun it. Unbelievable scenes here at Zanzor. On the final lap, we throw away P6. We're down to ninth, down to 10th, down to 11th. The Stroll gets past. We bang wheels. We go wide. I try to send it down the inside. Clip long Stroll there. That wasn't working. And that was a move that was done with frustration. Pure frustration. As we had P6 in the bag. Nine championship points if you include the fastest lap points. And we threw it all away. And the frustration really hitting deep here as Daniel Ricciardo bangs wheels and now goes through. And are we going to be able to use the DRS to get through? Yes, right, we do. Over. There is a bit of a skip the there. I do apologise, but we do finish at 11. Throwing away points like that is unaffordable in a championship fight. And, yeah, I, I honestly can't. Out. We're going to be hearing that Dutch national anthem again because it's victory for Max Verstappen. And you can just see how much this means to the fans as well. The energy that they were giving the driver all day today. A race win at home feels like 10 race wins elsewhere. Here come today's winners. The team at Red Bull have done a phenomenal job recently. And it's clear to see that they've put in the work. And they should be so proud of the victory they've secured here. After an event like that, who knows what the sport has in store for us next time out. Be sure to join us once again as we continue to bring you all the excitement of Formula One. I honestly cannot believe we threw that away. But it's a home win for Max Verstappen. Oscar Piastri gets second. Alonso gets a podium in third. Then it's Leclerc, Norris, Perez, Hamilton, Russell, Gasly and Stroll completing the points. We get P11, but no point for the fastest lap there. Which means to say that Leclerc re-extends the championship lead to us. Back to 26 points. But Lando Norris does is now three points behind. So it's still very close between the two of them. But Leclerc has extended that gap to us. So oh, I could not be affording to do that whatsoever. And Verstappen is now only 29 points. So there's still four drivers realistically in this fight. I can't afford any more moments like that if we're going to win it. We have to knuckle down now and really start maximising each race. Even if it is a handful of points and not making mistakes like that. Russell is fifth in the standings then. Alonso sixth. Then it's Piastri, Perez, Hamilton and Stroll clinging on to the top 10 we're still leading the constructors championship but yeah frus sheer frustration at what we threw away there well thank you so much for watching don't forget to leave a like and hit subscribe if you're new here and you want to see more content from me and until the next time i've been joe ttfn tata for now take care and enjoy the rest of your day